If our data are, are weighted, we want to use a weighted standard distance statistic instead of just the unweighted standard distance statistic. The only difference in the formula is that instead of using the regular unweighted mean center, we're going to use the weighted mean center in the differences. We're also going to multiply each difference by the weight of the point for that difference. And instead of dividing by n, as is the case in the standard distance formula, we're going to divide by the sum of the weights. So suppose we have this point distribution with the weights in red. We can make a table from the data as follows, where each observation we've recorded the x, direct, the x location, the y location, and the weight of that location. The first step is going to be to calculate the weighted mean center. This is, if you recall, the weighted mean center uh, is for the for the x is equal to the sum of the weighted x's over the sum of the weights, and the weighted mean center for the y is equal to the sum of the weighted y's divided by the sum of the weights. So the first step in calculating the weighted standard distance is calculating the weighted mean center, and therefore we're going to calculate the weighted x's and the weighted y's. So in this case, we've got the weighted x's as being 0, 16, 6, 16, and 5, and the weighted y's is 15, 16, 6, 4, and 4. And we can now sub in, we can now find the weighted, uh, the weighted mean center by dividing the sum of the weighted x's and y's by the sum of the weights. So the sum of the weights is 20, the sum of the weighted x's is 43, the sum of the weighted y's is 45, so the weighted mean center in the x dimension is just 43 over 20, and in the y direction it's 45 over 20. 2.15 and 2.25. Next we need to take these values and plug them in to this equation. So we are going to calculate the difference between each x and, it, and the weighted mean x, and each y and the weighted mean y, and then we're going to square those differences. And that's going to appear in these columns on the next slide. Here they are. So these are the squared differences. These terms. The next step is to take the weights and multiply these squared differences by the weights. So in the first case, we're going to take the weight of 5 and multiply it by 4.6, which gives us roughly 21 point something. And we're going to take the 5 and multiply it by 0 0.563, which is going to give us, ooh, I don't know, about 2.6. I've got the rest of the answers on the next slide. OK? So these are the rest of the answers. And in order to form, to calculate the standard weighted distance, we need to take the sum of each of these columns. So we have to find the sum of this column. That's going to give us this summation, and the sum of that column is going to give us this summation, and we're going to divide that by the sum of the weights, which is over here, so we're going to divide that by 20. So the sums of those two columns are 46.5 and 13.75. When we plug everything into this equation, we have a standard weighted standard distance of 1.7364. So if you recall, the standard distance of the unweighted data was just 2. So now, because we've got weights, uh, we see the effect of the weights is to bring down the level of dispersion in the data set. Let's look at the values of the weights and see what's going on. So first of all, here we have the points, and this was the original mean center. And now we've got the weighted mean center being 
drawn to this location. So in the first case, we see that the weighted mean center is closer to the points that have higher weights. And that means, if you look at the formula, that the points with higher weights are going to influence this sum to a larger extent. But because the point with the higher weight is closer to the mean center, the weighted mean center, we see that the distance here is going to be smaller. So when we include our weight here, we're going to be putting a higher weight on a smaller distance. And that's going to bring down the overall size of the weighted standard distance.